Hi, my name is Michael O'Grady. I'm the Director of Business Development and Survey Sales at Siler Geospatial. Today, we're going to review the Trimble X7 Next Generation Scanner. I will cover the components that come with that X7, along with details of the features and the software that operates, which is Trimble Perspective. So now we're going to go into what you get when you purchase an X7 system from Cyber. These are the boxes that your sales representative will deliver to you. We'll go through each one independently. The large box here is the X7 system in a hard case, suspended in a styrofoam so it ships extremely well. This box is your soft backpack for carrying your instrument out to the field. We have the Trimble T10 tablet, which is what you'll use for Trimble Perspective software. We capture the information, the clouds, and the imagery that come from the X7. We have a quick release uh, attachment for your uh, carbon fiber tripod. So that makes up everything that you're going to get. There is an option, instead of purchasing the T10 tablet, if you have your own tablet, Toughbook, uh, there's you know, several options out there in the market. It has to be a Windows 10 operating system, but there is a part number with a slightly reduced price where you're getting the Trimble Perspective software, but there is a part number for BYOD, bring your own device. That is something that is uh, an option for you when you talk to your sales representative. So inside of the hard case of the Trimble X7, we have the instrument, we have three lithium batteries, we have cleaning cloth, we have a special Cable Hiroshi to USB, so you can uh, put the instrument directly to your computer. There's a 32 gigabyte scan disk memory card and a card reader in case you're, the PC that you're using uh, does not have a scan reader card. So this is the Trimble specially designed backpack system for the X7. Basically, you have very rugged foam insert that protects everything, slots for your batteries, the instrument. This slot is for your the charger for your batteries. And then there's additional pockets. Basically, uh, your tablet goes in this front pocket. These side pockets are for extra batteries, cables, and even a lunch, you know, depending on what you're doing out in the field, right? But really nice straps, got some nice cushioning here, you know, so if you have to hike in for uh, a project, you know, this is definitely a, and it comes included in the X7 system. For the Gitsu tripod, there's two options. You have your standard 5 8 inch thread that you can use for any tripod that you have in your inventory, or Trimble has designed a quick release for a mounting system. And this mounting system, they give you Allen keys. There's three screws to actually attach and lock this into the bottom of the X7 system because, and then there's a, a sleeve protection. So 
but this is how quickly it is. So when you're attaching the quick release to the Gitsu tripod, basically there's a lever here that goes on onto the locking, unlocking screw that you loosen. It separates here and allows you to take off the existing one and put the quick, quick release on. Now, there is one little trick. After you've loosened the system, you still are not able to, you know, take the other hardware off. There's a small button that is right here, which is an unlocking mechanism. So you can take the old hardware off and put the new quick release on. So now let's talk about when we, after we've installed the memory card, and also we've installed our battery. Now, we're simply gonna power the system up. The power button on one side, you get some tones, and at this point, the X7 is going to go through a procedure of self-leveling and a calibration. The orange lights basically means it's going through that, that procedure. As soon as it does its leveling and orientation, then the lights will go green. One of the unique features of the X7 is its ability to do a scan I have one button push. My lights go blue, and that means it's gonna start a scan. Now it's gonna use the default parameters to be able to you know, uh, complete that scan. So as it's doing its scan, it's storing all that information on the 32 gigabyte memory card. After it completes the scan, then it's going to start downloading that scan data to Trimble Perspective. All right, now that we've seen how easy it is to operate the Trimble X7, we're going to go over to Trimble Perspective and go in in detail on how that software does the control, the settings, and how it does auto registration where you can visually see you know, these scans coming in and auto register. It's quite impressive. But now I've got my scan. I've taken the X7 and moved it to a different location inside this room and I'm basically going to start the second scan. Now you can see there's two, because of the two different locations, it's sitting there and saying, well, I got this scan over here and I got this one here. Now it's doing its auto registration and you'll see the two scans merge. And now, here's our, our images. This is scan number two, scan number one. You know, the possibilities of this, what we're seeing is really, especially in forensics, crime scene investigations, accident investigations. You know, it's quite easy for, you know, the sheriff, state police, to take this technology and bring it out, capture the information quickly, and then make sure they have all the information that they need to, and in forensics, it's to uh, get a conviction in a crime scene or, hey, who's responsible for an accident you know, in a traffic uh, situation. So at this point in time, I want to thank everybody for attending this video. Uh, we're going to continue with additional videos that discuss in depth the power of Trimble Perspective and 
Also, as you get these scans, there are procedures that you can use inside Trimble Business Center so you can orient these scans, stay plain, geographical coordinates. So once again, thank you very much and we'll see you again.